Hi lovelies, it's Ethany and welcome to First Impressions Friday on my channel. Today we are discovering a new oracle deck that has winged its way all the way from the southern hemisphere. It is the When My Soul Whispered oracle deck and this is by Melissa, I'm going to say your name wrong, Silaragario. Oh, I've said it wrong and I've actually met you before. Silaragario, <laughs> Gio. I'm so sorry, Melissa. We've actually met. We actually met when I was in Australia. I believe the last time, which was a blink and long time ago. And look, it is a bee. I mean, if anyone knows me, all about the bees. Super beautiful. Created and written by Melissa. Um, and I'm really, really excited. It's a 44 card deck. I know I keep looking at that. I kind of get like really, uh, there is a guidebook PDF you get as well, but I also received the full guidebook and it is color, which is really amazing. I'm really, really uh, chuffed, chuffed, what a word, chuffed. Uh, we're going to swap over the cameras now and go through the When My Soul Whispered Oracle deck and just to discover it together. Okay going through the deck now first of all we all know how much I love bees uh, so I'm already here for this <laughs> so this is um, written and created by Melissa I always stuff up her surname Silvagio and artwork by Jess O'Connor and look at this guidebook it is juicy so and so it's where my soul whispered.com so we'll have a look at the guidebook in a minute this is the Thing. So here we go. It's a very sweet little deck. So it's smaller than a tarot deck and smaller than I think it's like playing card size, which I really like because it's nice to have decks with different sizes so that you can have it in your bag or you can lay out more cards if you've got limited space. I like that things come in different sizes. This box is so beautiful. So that beautiful orange. And then we have here and now, <clears throat> I vow to love everything that I am and everything that I am to become. So Melissa, the box has a magnetic closure, which I love. So it's a 44 card deck. Very, very gorgeous. Look at the backs. This beautiful like petal mandala. And we have a antique gold um, lining. Sorry, what is it called? Edging. It is 350 at least GSM. It's that. It's the lovely like rose petal feeling um, cardstock, which I use as well now. Um, so let's go through it. So we have abundance. These are so beautiful. Look at that. I love watercolors and I love that these, I really enjoy um, the use of white space index acceptance. I love that it's uh, minimalistic. I really like the font too. Advocate. Oh, balance, a little bumblebee, that beautiful bumblebee. Belong. Look how beautiful, just so pretty. Gorgeous artwork, boundaries. Oh, I love hummingbirds, it's so cute. I'm probably sure I use the word love a lot, but it's true, I have a lot of feels. Clarity. Communicate. Oh, confidence, uh, sunflower. Yes. Connected. Tree, tree of life is so pretty. Decision. And what's fun about these, you know, decks that are more um, minimalist desire is that you can use this so say you could say put you know what is my big lesson right now and use a, a deck like this and then build a spread around it so that that keyword can then 
interact with each one of the cards around it, which is often, I do that quite a lot. Determination, beautiful fox. Divinity. Emotion. Empathy. So sweet. Expectation. These are very beautiful. Forgive. And again, the light in here is like if I hold it up like this, it's not the best fit. If I look, if I do like that, that's how bright and beautiful it is. Grounded. Love that. Healing. Insight. Journey. Everyone. Joy. The sun. And then, yeah, you can use the the night the the symbol, which is sorry, you can use the um the symbol, which is the sun, or you can use the keyword, and also see how I have a tar I have a blog post and video along with a downloadable about using multiple spreads, sorry, multiple decks and spread, and how to create connections. Um, so that's something that. I use Oracle and Tarot in that if you're interested. Kindness. If you can't find it, let me know in the comments below and I'll send you a link. Oh, that's so sweet. Limitless. I love unicorns. Well, I love any I love anything magical. Listen. Motivate. Melissa and Jess have done such a great job. Now, I love it when you ask a question of a deck and it gives you something like that. It's like, okay, yep, sure. <laughs> no, it's very clear. Receptivity. Strength. Transcend. Transformation, beautiful, unconditional, understanding. <laughs> These are so cute, so pretty. Vibration, wisdom. Oh, ladybugs are so cute. Worthy. Another one of my little sacred little animals that I really, really like. Oh, so now we've got all the chakras. So microcosm. Passion. Manifest. Love. Truth, intuition, and macrocosm. I like that. That's we've gone from the soul connection to the earth in the grounded root chakra all the way through to the cosmos connection in the microcosm in that one. I'm just gonna try and okay, so I'm gonna give it a bit of a shuffle really like the backs as well. I can see working with this deck with multiple others will be really great because and because of the size of being super compact you can do some really cool stuff with building layers on top of readings, doing 12 months of lessons, all that kind of stuff. All right, so let's see what we have. Listen. Oh, I love shells. Reminds me of Animal Crossing. 
<laughs> collecting all the shells on the beach all the time. All right, so we've got our cards. Let's go through the guidebook, which is separate and it is it is as big as a paper bag. So it's it's very um, it's nice and big for Sebastian. Okay, the journey. So we have the introduction. Oh, here we go. Then we have. So for each card, we have the keyword, quote, meaning my light, my shadow, my sacred word. So we have like affirmations and everything. Then we have the chakra association and the raison d'etre, the, the French meaning for purpose or reason for being. Use of color. So you can see the different colors used in the deck, connecting it to the different chakras. Card spreads. So she's given you, Melissa's given you a lot in this to really um, digest, which I love. So we have three cards, and as you can see, it's coloured. The honeycomb spread. Then we have the cards, abundance. We have a quote too. So there's quite a lot of uh, beautiful writing in here. So let's have a look. Go. I'm gonna go through to listen. So listen, we have the picture. The word listen contains the same letters as the word silent. So we have a little bit about the meaning. And then my light, attentive, aware, open, willing. My shadow, closed, obtuse, imperceptive and narrow-minded. My sacred words, I realize the most important words are the ones unspoken. Chakra, throat, and the reason... Oh, I just startled the dog by moving my leg. How dare I? Um, when you hold a seashell to your ear, it is easy to hear the whispers of the ocean. Every wave as it hits the shore and gently recedes. As you listen to the stories of others, make sure that you pay attention to the small details, not letting yourself be distracted by your own thoughts and feelings. And then about the, at the back, about the creator. So her website, Where My Soul Whispered. And she's also on Instagram as well. And Jess... What a stunning deck. Congratulations, Melissa. This is so beautiful. Um, again, I'm, I can't wait to use this deck. Uh, thank you for bearing with me. Uh, this took a really long time to arrive because of COVID. We've all had that year. Um, so I'm really glad I finally got to sit down and go through it. I will, as always, put in the description box where you can go and support Melissa and the work and go get your copy of When My Soul Whispered Oracle Deck and Guidebook. Uh, and as always, my loves, thank you so much for watching.